Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I uh, need to do an update video for the ministry. Okay. Um, the situation with Brother Tim at uh, AVTB, I'm probably getting this wrong. I forgot to write it down. Um, we got everything kind of sort of situated out. I just want to say right now, I haven't changed my stance on video games. Okay. I don't think a Christian should be playing video games. And we'll talk about it um, a little bit. But right now he says he's focusing on his marriage, his wife, and he's focusing on the ministry. And that's where the primary focus of his life is right now. With, his, with the Lord, his walk with the Lord, the ministry, and his wife. Praise the Lord. Um, and the whole point, I edited the video about um, is sin justification to break fellowship. It is. Okay, 1 Corinthians chapter 5, there's a list of things that if they're doing those things and refuse to give them up, they're justification to break fellowship. But if Tim's backed off hardcore on video games, because um, that was the big thing about the video, uh, then it's not on idolatry. If he's backed away from it hardcore and he's focusing, like I said, in the areas he said he's focusing on, it's not idolatry. So, he doesn't fall under 1 Corinthians chapter 5. So, um, I still do not agree with video games. We, we just don't agree on that area. That's just one area we're just not going to agree on for right now. Um, uh, so that I took another video down. So that's that's that. Okay. Um, one of the things I put on here, he can't beat me over the head with the Bible and get me to see his way and I can't beat him over the head with the Bible and get him to see my way. And I don't say my way. I believe my way is Bible way. He believes his way is the Bible way. So, but the point is, is you can't force it. Okay? You're not supposed to get to the point where it's contention, a strife of words, and the Bible talks about things, about division and stuff like that. Um, and with me, it started, but you can't beat someone over the head with the Bible. It can become a, a pride issue. And it kind of was uh, in the sense that I really am passionate about people giving God glory in all things and thanks in all things. And one of the biggest things I struggle with, and I don't want the brethren to struggle with, is video games. Uh, so it kind of started to get to become a pride issue, maybe. I don't know. It just kind of, I'm just trying to leave all the options open. So that part is done. Uh, you never know. In the future, I might do a uh, live fellowship video with, with Brother Tim. Um, I, only God knows what the future holds. But on the same note, encouragement to the brethren. Okay, why I'm still making my stand, but I just want to do an encouragement to the brethren as a whole, not vi just video games, but as a whole. Okay, Colossians 3:16. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. There's there's things we need to focus on. Okay? Uh, you should focus on everything. Like I said, I'm not changing my stand. But there's other things to focus on other than the situation that we we're that I was going through. And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. One of the things I like about Paul, really love about Paul, is he'll give an example and then you always have that problem of people saying, well, what about this? What about that? What about this? Well, that, you know, then Paul gives us the overall rule of, uh, I say rule of thumb sometimes, but the overall rule, basically, the, all, the overall charge, the overall command. So you read there all these things, spiritual songs, singing with grace. But then he says in verse 17, and whatsoever ye do in word or deed, no singing, wisdom, you know, uh, admonishing, teaching, whatever you do, do all in the name of our Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father by Him. So what you're doing, brothers and sisters of Christ, make sure in word and deed that you're doing all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Your walk with the Lord, you get into ministry, you know, it's important. 1 Corinthians 10, 31, Whether therefore ye eat or drink or whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of God. Now if you read before that, it's talking about uh, a lost person is trying to bring him back under the law, saying, hey, you're not to eat these types of meat, this type of food. And he gets in there and says, uh, as long as it's given with thanks, uh, why is my liberty judged of another man's conscience? For that which I give thanks, 
and that'll be a study. We're going to get into a study about liberty here in the future. Um, but I love how he, he just says, okay, here's the rule of thumb all together. Okay. Whatever you do, whether you're eating it, make sure you're giving God thanks and giving Him glory for it. Whatever you're drinking, make sure you give Him thanks and you give Him glory for it. Because it says thanks, the, the previous uh, verse. Um, and whatsoever you do, physically in the body, do all to the glory of God. And then I've always pushed this, Ephesians 5.20. Uh, giving thanks always for all things unto God and our Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, like I said, I love how Paul gives an example and then says, here's the overall view. This is how, this is the law, this is the command, the charge, the rule of thumb. If you have a problem figuring out what it is, here's the rule of thumb. Can you give God glory in it? Can you give him thanks in it? Can you do it in the name of the Lord Jesus? Mm -hmm. So, the, the thing that I want to warn the brethren about is just this. Out of this whole situation, okay, and like I said, I corrected the video. Uh, I took a video down. I don't want strife or anything. But the one thing that I really want to strongly urge everybody, this isn't directed at Tim alone. This is directed at me first. Judgment must first begin here. And then everybody else, the whole body of Christ, okay? This is my warning to you and encouragement to you to go through your life, brothers and sisters in Christ. Okay? Your walk, some, sometimes things in your life that you can't give God thanks or glory in or um, do it in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, whether you think it's a sin or not, two things. If it is a sin, it's going to hinder your walk with the Lord. If you don't believe it's a sin, because like I said, I'm not going on a sin issue anymore about the video games. Can you glorify God? Can you give God thanks? The thing about it, brothers and sisters in Christ, I believe from experience, starting by judging myself, that if you have things in your life that you can't give God glory for and you can't give Him thanks for, your walk with the Lord will never be as strong as it could be. I'm sorry, that's just the way I feel. I know I said I feel, but with my studies and scriptures and with my experience, that's the best word, experience, that's the way it is. Okay. Um, what is the other one? Ministry. When you get into ministry, brothers and sisters in Christ, I'm a witness. I'm a witness. I'm also the example. Okay. When you compromise, when you have things in your life that don't give God glory, don't, you can't give Him thanks for, and you can't... Um, do it in Christ Jesus. I've stepped down from the ministry twice. One, because I had this situation right here. Where I had things in my life that were getting in the way and I couldn't focus on teachings. And I had to get my heart right with the Lord before I could come back. And it was only like a month. But I still had to say I had to take a break. I didn't step down. I took a break for a month. Um, and then one time I compromised and I actually had to step down from the ministry. Because I compromised. Okay. Judgment must first begin here. Your ministry will never be as effective and as strong as it could be if you're not judging your life by this, by the three things we just talked about. Okay. So I just want to uh, encourage the brethren, go through your life. We're always talking about cleaning house. I'm saying cleaning house. And a lot of you are like, yeah, I found this. And I've done videos saying, I found this. I had no clue it was there. This is sin. Um, I had a brother in Christ tell me that um, he, I, a lot of it's over my head, brothers and sisters in Christ. It was technology and showing that the new Wi-Fi is coming out, the internet, where you can have it in the, you get internet access in the desert. You can have internet access on the highest mountain. I forgot, <laughs> my brain just froze. Um, the highest mountain in the world, okay? They're putting satellites up there, little small ones and tons of them and it's supposed to be done by the end of 2020 and we're supposed to have new internet and then YouTube they're talking about how they've hired certain people to do parts of YouTube and those people are anti-Christians and we might start getting kicked off either all together or one by one and I mean they're already messing with my YouTube page um, my YouTube channel and it's like we're in the last days and our focus needs to be, brother, sister, Christ. When you're looking for that blessed hope, and I'll stand for this till the day I die, that means sanctification. It doesn't mean you sit here and just look up and go, "Is today the day, Lord? Is today the day?" I do that. There's nothing wrong with doing that. 
but sanctification. Okay, getting busy for the Lord. Uh, I had a brother in Christ tell me about a great bumper sticker for someone to make is a bumper sticker that says, "The last one, the last one." And I, I didn't understand it at first until he explained it to me. And when somebody would ask him, what does that bumper sticker mean? There's just one more to get saved and we get to go home. The last one. And that's where we need to focus on. Our work for the Lord, making sure our life is pleasing to God. Uh, the judgment seat of Christ, make sure that you're earning rewards. There's not much time left. We could leave today. We can leave in a month. Things can fall apart in a heartbeat. And this isn't a video to say, hey... Um, I'm trying to scare you guys, but our economy could collapse at any moment. They try to make it out like it's strong, it's strong. One of the things that people don't know about, because uh, maybe they do, but I don't do it, uh, look into studies and everything. But I had a family member tell me that China, they're in debt, of course, but China has tons of our physical cash, tons of it, like millions. And it's like, what would happen if they dumped it on our economy? They would almost tank. I mean, the way they said how much they have, because there's, because uh, we're paying them to do something or this or something. I don't know how they're getting the money, but bottom line, the amount of physical cash they have, if they dumped it on the American people, it would tank our dollar in a heartbeat. So there's a lot of things out there that say this could happen. And the whole point of me saying this is to motivate you, get busy for the Lord. Get busy living for the Lord fully and completely, doing the work of the Lord fully and completely, earning rewards. Get busy serving the Lord. What is it? The last one. i got to keep remembering that. The last one. That's what we're looking for. Um, donations. The next part is about donations. I've said this before in videos. I don't take donations. I don't take donations. And I got talking with a couple of brethren, and I kept praying to the Lord, and it's like, I bought an old house. It's 28 to 30 years old, and people say, well, it's not that old. It's a manufactured home. It's, it's, it's old. Okay? I've had to fix things on it. Uh, the pumps went out on me. I talked about that in other studies or other videos. Uh, the sewage, the sewage uh, tank and everything, I've got to get it looked at now. And like I said, there's just a lot of stuff on there. And the whole point of this is, brothers in Christ, there's things I want to get for the ministry. The camera I'm using right now, it's not meant to make, because right now it's doing 10 minute segments. It's not meant to make our studies with. It's a camera for taking pictures, not videos. You can take a video with it, but it's old. And it starts heating up when I do even close to an hour. And there's times where I can't get it to focus. There's some people who have complained where the video is not focusing. Um, or it doesn't look like the quality. It's supposed to be 720 is the max on this one. It's not even looked like ten, a 720 quality. Um, and I, I agree with them. It doesn't. It's just an old camera. Um, there's some books I'd like to get. My computer works just fine, but it's Stone Age. You know, It takes a long time. If I put, bring up my rendering, when I'm rendering a video and I try to do something else, it just seems like it takes forever. So when I'm rendering on this computer, I can't do anything else for the most part. I can try and be patient, but um, there's just upgrades I'd like to get in the ministry. And I just been like, I had a guy offer to buy the H2 recorder, and it took me months to save up for the H2 recorder. Um, and I told him no. I said, God's provided for me. I have a, a retirement. And someone brought it to my attention. Um, 1 Timothy 5.18, For the scripture saith, Thou shalt not muzzle the ox that treadeth out the corn, and the labor is worthy of his reward. Another brother in Christ pointed me to another verse, I forgot to write it down, that talks about, you know, not being prideful about it, uh, being grateful. Uh, Deuteronomy 25.4, anytime it says, For the scripture saith, so if you go back to Deuteronomy 25.4, Thou shalt not muzzle the ox with, with, when he treadeth out the corn. Okay. And there's verses talking about, for you brothers and sisters in Christ that don't feel like getting in, that you've been called into full-time ministry, um, this is your way of getting blessings. We just got finished talking about rewards. Get busy lit working for the Lord. Um, you're part of this ministry when you pray for this ministry and you pray for me. Okay, You're part of this ministry when you support the ministry, uh, when you subscribe, uh, when you watch videos, give it a thumbs up, when you actually make comments under there, you know, encouraging me and talking with me and sometimes teaching me something. 
about the video where I sometimes correcting me when I made a mistake, but you know, yeah, that's great. I was doing this and that and some fellowship is there. You guys can you guys are supporting the ministry that way and I am so grateful and blessed by you guys, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, but I don't want to hinder you anymore. So I, I put up the donation button and I don't I might take it down uh, and put it up only when there's something needed for the ministry. Uh, like it's not a full time like every month get a, a donation. But like I said, I don't want to hinder you guys. Um, so it's not about money. My whole push for you, brothers and sisters in Christ, if you're in debt, get out of debt first. Get out of debt. Um, I guess I am not being a hypocrite. I have a mortgage. I look at it as rent. It's not justification. I try to pay extra on it. But for the most part, I it's rent. Okay. And like I said, I keep looking at it around here. Chances are, maybe in the future, I'll be selling the place and buying something like some land or something like that. But in order for me to do that, I've got to leave the state. The state of Oregon is just so upside down. And they make it impossible for you to really own your own property and own land unless you've got tons of money. Um, but James 4, 6, But he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. 1 Peter 5, 5, Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elders, yea, all of you be subject one to another, and be clothed with humility. For God resisteth the proud, and giveth grace to the humble. Uh -huh. And the reason I read that is, maybe that's my fault. Everybody has a fault. Uh, maybe that's my fault, because I've always wanted to work for it, and that's not a bad thing. But when there's times I had trouble, it, it just almost killed me to ask somebody for help. When I was younger, there's times I didn't make financial decisions and I didn't have money for gas. I had, there was like a week left and I was on empty and I asked my grandfather for help. And it really had to push me to get, ask him for help if he could help me with the tank of gas and I'd pay him back. And I need to be, have some humbleness. When you guys say, hey, I want to help out the ministry, I need to be like, okay. Uh, so it's up there. I don't know how to use it, so it might not be set up properly. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not used to it. Um, which brings to the next part. We're just talking about fellowship. Thanking you guys. Um, I want to point this out big time to the brethren. I have been going around sorrowful about fellowship, and we've all talked about it. And one of the things that you suffer today is fellowship. When you're suffering for Jesus Christ, we're so spread thin that you're not going to fellowship with the lost world. And I know we talked about 1 Corinthians 5. There's certain reasons uh, for 1 Corinthians 5 where there's some justification where you've got to break fellowship and you're looking at, we don't have hardly any fellowship. Okay? Well, here's the thing. I just want to put, uh, encourage the brethren, the doors for fellowship haven't closed completely. Okay? And I had to get myself where I, and I'll talk about it here, uh, emails. You, I have an email for the uh, ministry. You can email, mainly it started out for prayer requests. If you got prayer requests or you got a testimony, I'd love to hear it. You know, I'd like to know that God is working in the lives of the brethren. The struggles you're going through, sometimes it's the same struggle I'm going through, and it encourages me that I'm not alone. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I'll make it, mention them in videos to let the brethren know they're not alone. Mm -hmm. uh, letters. I have my P.O. box, and I got one letter from a sister in Christ. Once again, thank you, thank you, thank you. It was such a blessing to sit on the deck and read a letter uh, from the brethren, sister in Christ. But I still have my P.O. box. Um, you guys want to send me letters? Uh, let me know how you're doing. I know we have email, but I'm trying to go back old school because I like sitting on the deck. Sometimes I'll print out the email to set on the deck, especially if it's a great story, long story, but great story. Um, Skype, that's what I've been doing recently because it started really getting me down and and I've got some brethren that I've been Skyping and talking with. You have Skype. Um, there's Messenger. There's certain Messenger things where you can type back and forth and it's instant. Like you're both there talking but Messenger. Um, phone. You have a phone, don't you? I have a landline. You know, the doors are not closing completely and God kind of smacked me upside the head and and said, listen, you're, yes, it's hard today. Yes, it's so hard today, but the doors aren't closing completely. And some of my sorrow is my own fault because I'm not stepping up and using what God has given us so we can still fellowship. Okay. So 
I wanted to throw that out there to encourage this, this uh, brethren. The thing with Tim, taken care of. Okay. Um, he's going to get focused hardcore on his wife, his marriage, and the, his walk with the Lord, and the ministry. And he's going to get busy for the Lord, just like I'm going to get busy for the Lord. And hopefully anybody else out there that's in ministry, you need to get busy for the Lord. Okay. And there's young men, if you want to talk to me about getting into ministry, um, we need good, Bible-believing, God-fearing men that feel called into ministry because there's few of us today. Um, but that part, uh, just going over everything and the encouragement about your life living for the Lord, we don't got much time left. Uh, the donations, like I said, I put the button up there. Um, so, and like I said, I'm going to try to keep you updated on things that are bought for the ministry. Um, but right now I'm just mainly looking for a camera. Uh, a new camera that's got the boom mic so if I'm this close to the camera I don't have to use the H2 recorder when I'm on the uh, ocean or out where it's kind of windy I've got the H2 recorder um, but a camera that's mainly designed to do an hour or two hour video without overheating um, so and then fellowship okay brethren we need to stay in fellowship and encourage one another okay? so uh, thank you for watching. Grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all and my love for you in Christ Jesus our Lord. Remember, the last one.